What's good YouTube, Name with Mass Collector. Back with another video. Uh, this one here, we're kind of doing a little unboxing of Storytime Chess. Um, we saw this online and um, what really drew us to it is that one, I, I love the game of chess. I'm not super good at it, but I used to play it quite a bit. Just love the whole strategy part of it. Anyways, um, this is ages 3 to 103, um, and that's what drew us to it, is that it's, it's made for teaching basically toddlers and up how to play chess using stories and games and things like that to show and uh, show the, the kids how pieces move and things of that nature. So. Here's the box. Um, again, ages three and up. There are eight plus silly stories in here. I'm assuming that means that they're gonna have other stories and things like that that you can purchase, um, you know, for, for just like new levels or something like that. 30 plus mini games in here. Um, so you basically get two in one type of thing where you get the storybook chess set and just the standard chess, chess set as well. And we'll turn the box over and show you. So they're thinking it's a 20 plus minute game, at least two to four players. And it's won all kinds of awards and things like that. Definitely check out some videos on YouTube and whatnot. <clears throat> so on the back here, kind of gives you an idea of the, the why it's it's so sought after really for such a, you would think it's gonna be a complex game, but if you, you're going by this and uh, how they, how they, how they made it geared more towards stories and things like that. It's really teaches kids a lot of things like, you know, making better decisions, strategy, uh, focus, things of that nature too. So but learn to play chess one silly story at a time. Storytime chess, fun, easy way to teach children how to play chess through exciting stories, colorful characters, and easy mini games. Children and parents everywhere learning how to play chess by telling a story and playing an easy and fun game that is backed by multiple awards and a proven early childhood chess curriculum. So you get standard pieces and then you get the character pieces that you can slide in the slots in front of them. So that when you're looking at the other side of the board, you can see the other character, your opponent's um, characters. And then on the back side, you see your, you know, the pieces that you would see normally. So, um, comes with tokens. So character pieces, each chess piece has a character story that relates to how the pieces move. Um, whole new way to play, uh, play chess with tokens and mini figure mini games uh, learn how the chess pieces move with the storybook two in one board so it's got like the story theme side and then just the regular chess side on it so get all the pieces the cutouts the tokens and everything so we'll just get right into this thing um, Kind of give you an idea inside. So the pieces, the character cutouts, the mini game tokens, one storybook, the board, and two bags. So I started opening this thing up and I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I should just do a video of it quick. So here we are. Um, so inside, get a nice big book of all of their stories and mini games and everything. It looks really, really cool, easy, you know, doesn't look like a lot of complex instructions type of thing, you know, nice big font, easy to read. And, um, you know, that's cool. So how to move King Chomper, the white king. Tells you how um, the player can move. 
And this is why he can only move one space in each direction is because he has such a big belly. So King Chomper can only move one space because he's so big, but he can move in any direction he wants. So, and that gives you the little games. So, <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, looking forward to doing this. Uh, my daughter, she, she's four now. And um, I figured we would kind of document this one story at a time, so to speak, to see how she she reacts to it and how she um, she gets into it, you know? She's really competitive, so I can kind of see her getting into this. So that's that. And then you get the two bags. You get the two bags with the pieces in it. So you got King Shaky. And King Chomper. King Shaky is the black chest pieces. Um, and this is where I got to and figured out like, oh, I should be recording this. So the cardboard cutouts come on nice thick cardboard stock. Um, make sure when you take them apart, take them apart from the back. That way you'll see if this paper is gonna rip off, if it's not totally cut through. And I missed this, I was going like this and um, it kind of ripped off the, the piece a little bit, but after that, I was just kind of taking my time and going around, make sure I'm not ripping any paper off. So here we go. Here's all the pieces. So the kings and queens, the bishops, bop, and the bishops, bow. And then we got a couple of rooks castles right there. Um, I won't put you through the agony of watching me pop all these out. But so here are the pawns. And the knights and the other set of rooks here. Um, here are our tokens. So we got pizza and jewels, which they're both addicted to, it sounds like. Chomper loves the uh, food and gets a big belly. And King Shaky likes jewels. And then here's the board. That takes care of the box and what's inside. And the board is nice and big. Um, you know, this is a, a really nice sized chessboard. And it'll be really cool to, uh, you know, this is sweet. It's huge. I'm going to say it's um, 18 inches square. 19 and a half almost. Okay, so the board is 19 inches. Very nice, um, heavy duty board. And we'll leave that down here and then we'll look at the pieces here, so. So it's a cool bag they put with it. Um, pieces are, these are cool, man. Um, how big they are. So I can, this is really cool. So I can see why they did it this way is to make sure that it, everything is spaced out and e easy to see. Um, I don't know if you can see me setting it up over here or not. So you can play with, you know, regular chess setup. Um, I'll just pull out a few. We got the king and the queen here, yeah. So black ones, I mean, I'm not gonna pull the whole set out, but you can kind of see exact same pieces when you look at them when they're black and white, just a regular, regular set. And then um, what you do with your player token, guys, is 
they got little slots in the, in the pieces here. And you just sit them in there. And it's got a nice little uh, kind of clamp type of thing on the front there that doesn't just sit in there. It's got some teeth to it. Kind of see there um, in the piece. So when you push it in there, it's going to stay in there. It's not going to slide around. So that's that's cool. Not, there's no way this thing is coming out of there. So that's neat. So when you think about your kids, you know, trying to play stuff, knocking stuff around, it's not going anywhere. It's it's in there. So this is really cool. Um, whoops. Queen Bella. Put her on, in. Queen on the white side. And the king and queen on the on the black side, and B must be on the black side, and Bob must be over here because they got white hair. That's what I'm assuming, anyways. So that's neat, and they're both. You know, similar but of different, same but different, same hair, same shirt, just different colored pants. Uh, one more thing that I found out by putting these things together is that your black piece players for your bishops have black pants, not the same color hair. So when you look at where you place your pieces on the board, this, you know, green haired, one and the white hair one that's where you place them and I'm like well why is why is there like that it's around on the black side here you know on the black border but <clears throat> that's how they're supposed to go so their hair goes out to the right on both sides but I like how they top this hair up to make them look like you know a bishop here is those two, same thing on the other side, just different pants, color. Uh, rooks. I'm going to see if I can get the other set. Pop these guys out. So I'll show you how I'm popping them out um, for those that want to see how to not make sure the paper doesn't rip here. But see how that kind of peeled up right there? Yeah, you just gotta be careful with it. Kind of wiggle it a little bit. Just a little bit. I gotta make sure I get that song in here. But you can kind of see where it's not pushed all the way through. But I don't like it when it rips up weird, so I'll just score it a little bit, help it along. Start ripping paper off, it just doesn't look good. A couple little issues here and there, but nothing, nothing major. But it's nice that they color code them on the backs too, so you got your black and white pieces, right? And might as well just bust out these tokens while I'm at it. These are really easy to pop out. Kind of just pull them a little bit towards you and push them out. Same type of thing though with the paper, you don't want to get it on the back side is another. I miss playing chess as well, so I'm really looking forward to this thing. Used to play a lot about 20 years ago. 
with a coworker during our breaks. And uh, we would just have this little magnetic set set up and we would um, play during our break and wherever we left off, we picked up again on the next break and during lunch and whatnot. It was cool. And um, my wife never played or got into it. And I don't think she wants me to teach her how to play. <laughs> but this will probably help that cause here. It'll be easy for everybody to kind of, me, just give me a, some people to play with and um, getting Hazel the skill set of a chess player and learn by stories and whatnot here. So this is really neat. Um, all the pawns. Guess you can just set them up however you want. Really easy to uh, put together, you know, just totally put all those on there and it's just clipped in basically. That's pretty neat. Tokens, you know, for whatever that's for. And here are other pieces. They're basically, it's pretty easy to tell them apart, you know. We'll put the black pieces together, and that's that. So, um, just a quick thing I just picked up is that. It shows you how to place all your parts, all your pieces down. So, king, queen, queen goes on color, bishops, knights, rooks, and then it's got like these little kids' faces over here for the um, the pawns to go across. So that's really neat that they did that. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew about that. So it's easy to set up and match things out so so cool okay so this has got I'm just gonna read this out loud how to play read chapter one on king chomper have fun be silly use voices act out the story two after completing chapter one take out the chessboard and place it story side up notice the character faces that show where the chess pieces should be placed number three Read how to move section. Follow the directions about how to attach your chapter's character cutout to its respective chess piece. Um, we already did that, so we're just going to skip step three when we start. And how to play number four. Step four. After learning how to move, play each mini game for chapter one using the provided crown tokens. Use the provided pictures to help with each mini game. Step five, after you have confidently learned how that chapter's piece moves, move on to the next chapter that introduces a new chess piece. Asterisk, important note for parents plus teachers. Before you move on to the next chapter, which introduces the next chess piece, repeat the current chapter for about a week or until your child has a firm grasp on how that chapter's pieces moves and is able to move the piece confidently on the board. So each week, you take one chapter. All right, and then number six, repeat and reread. Repetition and rereading the stories is key to solidifying this new information in your child's mind. Um, the editor, it didn't, it forgot the E in stories. 
All right, and then it goes into chapter one, King Chomper, the White King. King Chomper was a silly king. He lived in a silly castle in a land called Cheslandia. Do you see why that's funny? So the, this game is, takes place in Cheslandia. So the game, the game we're playing is chess and they're the land. They kind of made a play on words there. Chess, Cheslandia. Yeah, I'm leaving you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this, this is it. This, that right there, that was the move. I'm, I'm leaving you. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to checking this thing out this weekend, and uh, we'll document it. We'll we'll videotape the first game, and um, I'll try to edit out all the nonsense. But um, looking forward to it. We'll see how how it goes. Uh, I'll make a playlist on my channel for Storytime Chess, and um, that way when you come to my channel, if you want to follow the progress of this thing and see how well it works, um, you can just go right to that playlist and all the episodes will be in a row as far as stories and whatnot and how far we get with this thing. You know, she might absolutely hate it, which will be fine, you know, that's it's all good. But um, at least we can say we tried and that's one thing we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna try to get this thing to work because it would be a lot of fun to play chess with um with the family um because it's such a awesome game so many skills that you can um develop by playing chess <laughs> yep so please subscribe to my channel really appreciate that like the video if you enjoyed this little review so far um it'll be a lot of fun once we get into uh actually playing this thing this weekend tomorrow night so um yeah follow along see how see how we do um thanks again and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks